okay, this is Fitzgerald's finished wall. These urn vaults are eventually going to go. Uh, Dean Patrick definitely said that this Wilbert one, he's going to talk his dad out of getting rid of it. These other three are going to be a process. He talked about eventually putting on a kiosk, but in the short term, I'm going to order three urn vault shelves and they can hang them over there in the corner. And then for the walls themselves, this wall here, it's hanging, but there's three cleats. One, two, three. The only cleat that's grabbing it is this one down here. The other two would not grab. I even took the middle one out to see if it would still grab and just use these two here. It still wouldn't grab. So it's there, and it's not going anywhere, but it's only being buckled down by that one cleat right there. This piece here, the folks from uh, Manchester put crown molding down here so it could be down there but it actually needs to suspend so I ripped the crown molding off that's why there's a gap right there you can see a little bit of the uh, where I took the nails out and everything but it's hanging there okay however if you pull if you pull all the way down on that um, it'll just keep going and fall into the the uh, baden there the baden cut so what I did was I just wedged a screw underneath it. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a screw holding it up for now. Um, and then, Dean, we were, we talked about three urns here. I think you've got slated eventually, so there will be room for the graphic there as well. I think there's six urns here. If you space those urns out, you can put a graphic in the middle. And then I think there's six urns here. It may be tight for the graphic, but there's some room where we can pull that casket down to make room for the graphic. So I think that's it. Also, these four cuts are also at the Riverside location. I did not hang them. I unpacked them, though, and left them out in the garage for us to put them there. That's it.